if you could show us just some tips on, on the tail set and as far as where your clipper line should go, because I see so many groomers who clip too much of this and they wind up having this little bitty pom-pom and you can't make it nice and round. So if you could just explain the methods that you use, I'll come around to you. Get him where he's not in the way of the thing. All right, that is the biggest thing I see, and I even see it in the contest ring where they, they're not paying attention to what they're taking off and it throws the whole balance. They can have this absolutely beautiful trim on the dog and then they've taken too much off and they've got this little tiny ball. Now does the length of the tail have anything to do with how much you're going to clip as far as the actual structure of the dog? Only if it's taken too short. If, it, if it's stacked too long you can still balance it. You don't, you still, even if it's docked too long, you still don't want to shave too much off. The, the, it's how much you shave off throws, makes the whole balance. If it's docked too short, you might not want to take as much. You might want to come up into the dog's body a little to help balance it out rather than grow all this excess length that's just going to flop anyways. So I usually start by finding where the dog's tail meets its body. And granted, most of our ch dogs we see in our shops, they don't have a great tail set. So you want to look at the dog while it's in the bathtub and, and see. I mean, this dog has a great tail set. It's coming out at 12 o'clock where it's supposed to, or one, rather than the ones we see at the shops that are back here. Most of the ones we see, it looks like they pull the tail out, they dock it, and then it shrinks back into the body, and you have to kind of dig it out. I know, and I feel so bad for those dogs. <laughs> so the clippered area should actually, if it's set correctly, line up with the dog's withers. So if you take your comb and you line And the withers are, for people at home that aren't sure? The withers are the shoulder blades. Where the, shoulder, the highest point where the shoulder blades meet. He's sagging a little bit. He's 10 years old. He's allowed to sag. So you can take your comb or visualize it. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. Hold the tail up, come across, and that tells you where to start your clipper work. So then you can take your blade. Again, I'm going to use the 30 show edge. And you start, and I just clip until I can't clip anymore. I'm going straight down. It's not going anymore. And that tells me I've hit the dog's body. And you just go all the way around. Now these are live demonstrations that we have going on on the trade show floor. So not only can you come to the, to the trade show and see seminars that are um, a part of the show, but you can actually see them inside the, on the trade show floor as well. So these are just some of the company sponsored demos that are going on. So I just want to kind of show you what we have going on this weekend for you who are kind of on the fence about coming out. There's a lot of education to, to be taken in this weekend and great teachers like Diane here. So we're going to watch her finish up this tale. So we've set how far in we're going. The other, th and because I'm going until I can't clip anymore, I know I'm getting it all the way to the dog's body. I know I'm in where I'm supposed to be. I see a lot of people don't, um, one of the reasons, they might get the right amount clipped, but they've started too high up on the tail. They're not coming all the way down. So. Now, U shape or V shape? I like a V, but I don't think it's matters. I, you know. Okay. Do you do the same thing on the neck as you do on the tail? You know, some people put a U on the neck and a U on the tail or a V on the neck or a V on the tail. How, how do you do that in your shop? Uh, usually a U on the neck and a V in the tail, actually. Okay. And it depends on the dog's tail set because the coming in with the V or the U changes the tail set. Okay. That's going to add. Or if you're putting a pattern in, you might want to come up a little higher. You might want to add a little swirl, something a little decorative. Just depends on how much you like to play. The V is pretty easy. You find the spine. So you know where the center point is. You come in with the clippers at a point and just clip down. Now this is a great tip, and I just noticed this. I've actually never seen anyone do it this way, but if you look at her index finger her index finger is her guideline that she goes to so so many people when they go in and they're making this V or this U it winds up being crooked 
because yeah. they don't use a guideline, but by using this finger, she clipped right up to that, and that's a, that's a great tip for you guys at home. Well, you have to know where the center is, otherwise it's off to the side. <laughs> so once I set it, then all I have to do is go in backwards. Granted, I'm doing it from the side. And clean it up. And then later when I'm doing my body work, and I scissor all this in, we'll have that real pretty V. Okay, that looks excellent. And we're going to be coming by throughout the weekend um, with the schedule set up here. We'll be throughout the weekend. We'll come and watch Diane do different demos. Um, she was a groom team member. She's judged all over the country, all over the world, won numerous awards, best in show. So she's one of the best of the best that you'll see here this weekend um, doing demos. So we'll definitely be back to get more education. Great. We'll be here. Thanks.